everybody. Joe Tessitore alongside Kenny Atlas. And welcome to the Thomas and Mack Center just off the Vegas Strip. This the site of our championship fight. 12 rounds of heavyweight action. Great atmosphere here tonight. You talk to everybody ringside, and they expect this one to be a barn burner. Black Mamba's showing you that intensity that so many of the very best will display during a ring walk. Totally focused. The originator of the style that I fuck with. Here we go. Let me at least call me by my title name. Shit. Right, fellas. Let's this should be a good fight. fight Touch him up and because let's I may actually lose this fight. Here we go. Round one of this championship fight is underway. Teddy, we have sat through thousands of fight broadcast ringside, but this one, above any other, feels different. Yeah, the anticipation has been tremendous. Now we're going to see whether or not it lives up to the expectations. Teddy, in terms of breaking a man's will, in terms of testing him where he doesn't want to be tested, what can the power puncher do against this fighter who the rap on him is he has low stamina? Just keep the steady pressure on him. Make him start to think that you're... Ooh, we might have 12 there. rounds and against Ali. Figure what the fuck am I doing? About to happen to him. Good work defensively by Black Mamba. Plus, he landed that counter punch. Yeah, and he forced him to punch. He made him, he threw it out of him, and then he timed him beautifully. Halfway through round number one. Locks it away. Targeted two punch combo by Muhammad Ali. He's after me. We beat, we beat Joe Frazier. We haven't fought. We haven't fought. Uh, Joe, um, no, we beat George Foreman. We haven't fought Joe Frazier yet. remaining in this round that is boxing 101 a nice crisp combination by black mamba three minutes gone by in this round ali's got to wake up to the fact that he just lost that last round and the reason he did was because he wasn't efficient he wasn't accurate yeah he was throwing punches he wasn't landing them. no he's throwing them from too far away they're too wide he needs to shorten them up get into better range and use that jab as a finder. Ali's hit by a counter punch there. A little head hunting right back to it. by Muhammad Ali. Oh. 
Ali blocks it. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Nice strike after catching one by Muhammad Ali. Black Mamba's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Punch combo by Black Mamba. Hey, get out of there. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. comes to an end. Ali's missing punches. I mean, there's just no way to sugarcoat it. His accuracy isn't there. And there's a reason for it, Joe. His punches are the wide variety. And wide punches, guess what? They don't find the mark. They're not accurate. And round number three is underway able to show you his blocking ability. Ali's combination punching is just perfect there. Three punches landing. There's another right hand. Didn't get it done going to the body there. point of this third round. <clears throat> the last thing either guy wants to be here, Teddy, is one-dimensional. The last thing you want to be in anything to be successful is one-dimensional. I mean, if you're a comedian, you don't want to be saying the same jokes all the time. Your crowd's not going to be there. Well, your opponent is going to be there all night long if you do the same thing. <laughs> I heard that noise again. Now, <gasps> Black Mamba hey, what the so hell was that? Sound, it doesn't make for an easy target. No, it doesn't. And it makes for a very frustrating night for his opponent. I see his opponent now. If you notice, he's getting a little tentative. He's afraid to let the punches go because when he misses, he's worried he's going to leave an opening. <laughs> Ten seconds to go in this third round. And another right hand comes in. And round three comes to an end. But you gotta keep working. Keep working, and this fight is yours. Don't get lazy out here. You hear me? Don't get lazy. Winning this fight, not get lazy. ahead on Teddy's scorecard as we take a peek at those scores for the first time here today. Round number four just underway. After three hey, rounds, Catherine. he finds himself I up definitely just won a last round, round. But nothing really to pull away early on. That's a forceful two-punch combo by Black Mamba. Commits to the straight right. Come on, get Able to cover up that gut.
precise double jab by Black Mamba. Black Mamba's showcasing one of the best weapons you can have, especially early on in a fight, to set the tone, and that is the jab. Yeah, and he's shown that it does more than just set up other punches and, you know, just, you know, snap your head back. It disrupts everything. You know, it just throws the other guy's rhythm off, and that's what he's doing a good job of. 90 seconds to go in round number four. looks exhausted to me right now. Ali's accuracy is non-existent. This guy cannot punch a solid target right now. No, but what this shows, he's missing so many shots. We always think about the damage done when they land. This is showing you the damage that's done when they miss. You get discouraged. You start giving in. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. The combo lands upstairs. Yeah, like running through the rain without getting wet. Beautiful. And round four comes to an end. Ali's got to find a way to land more of these punches. It's okay to throw punches, but not if they're just drifting off the space. Absolutely, and space is it. He's in space. He's too far away. He has to get the right range. He's tight. He's real tight. He's got nothing left. Now listen, I need you to double up on your punches and keep that lead fine, all right? up with the rest of them it'll be closely contested and hard to score unable to get to Ali Ali blocked it oh he just misses with that headshot well I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counter puncher but I get the sense you'd agree with it yeah definitely I mean he's got the perfect platform the perfect form for it the guy's walking in right now not moving his head much he can time him, he can counter him. That's it. That's it. Ali's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. A minute and a half to go. Ten seconds. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Muhammad Ali. Well, as that round comes to an end, it gives us a moment to kind of reflect that was on a good the round. overall fight. Like that was My good thoughts one. are pretty clear cut. This is the kind of fight that just takes on a personality of its own. This is an all-out war. Yeah, this is kind of like watching a guy who's not on a budget. You know, he's spending with both hands. You know, when he goes home, he's going to have no money in his pockets. And when this fight is over, these guys are going to have nothing left in the gas tank, and it's probably not going to a decision. Okay. Don't work. You're doing fine. I need you to move your head more, side to side. Back to live action now in what has been a closely contested fight. 
one of those fights that somebody is still waiting to break through and be a difference maker in. Ali's starting to score at ease against his opponent there. Anytime you can land a three-punch combination, you're really hitting your groove. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. Black Mamba's really making some boxing purists out there put a smile on their face because his defense has been stellar. I mean, so fundamentally sound. Yeah, well, that's why he always goes rounds, and that's why people think he has an iron chin. I don't know if he has an iron chin because the chin never gets touched. He's a guy that's always going rounds because his defense is so good. Boy, sharp two-punch combination by Black Mamba. Trying to bank away body shots with the combo. I don't think he fucked with them body shots. Uh oh. Well, he really digs in when he decides to Wait throw a that up. Wait a minute. Good job. Wow, uppercut. what an uppercut. Final 10 seconds of the sixth round. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Your fight is fight. Your fight's on the inside with this guy. I want you to use the ring. So the second half of this fight has now arrived. Not the most accurate uppercut you'll see. Muhammad Ali's got to find an answer for this because his accuracy has been well off the mark. I like the fact he's willing to throw, but he needs to land more. Yeah, he needs to calm down and think more. Little volume punching to the body there. Ties up there. Black Mamba is so dangerous with that accuracy. A two punch combination landing. Halfway through the seventh round. business good crisp combos accurate shot straight right hand comes in and now he's targeting upstairs nice block by black mamba the punch puts one in there black mama's doing a brilliant job with his head movement he's employing top-notch defense right here and it's frustrating his opponent it is frustrating his opponent his opponent needs to make an adjustment of thinking right now and understand what's there not what's not there we know that the head's not there but what's there the body he needs to start going downstairs that will freeze up some of that head movement this is just a good, solid fight. Yes, he's leading on your scorecard here as we begin round number eight, but there has been some back and forth, some give and take. His opponent has found some kinks in the armor, namely that right hand over the jab. Come on, stay away from those. Come on, now. Solid hook. Little head knocking with that right hand. 
Muhammad Ali's combination punching here is showing you what good boxing is all about. Three punches thrown, three punches landed. Ninety seconds to go, halfway through round eight. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. Lands the counter. Muhammad Ali's got to figure out a way to do something different here. I mean, I know he's committed to being a counter puncher, but right now he's giving rounds away. Yeah, he is because he's waiting for things to happen that are not happening. You know, he's he's laying back. He's waiting for the guy to walk in. See, to be a good counter puncher, an effective counter puncher, guy has to come close to you, but his opponent's staying at a distance. He's not giving them anything to counter. He took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. Hey, man, come on now, keep your feet. Man. Come on now. And this round comes to an end. Black Mamba's in control of this fight, Teddy. Sometimes you can just look at it and see it as clear as day. He's ahead on the scorecards. Yeah, I have him ahead on my scorecard, too. But right now, he can't afford to coast because this guy is still dangerous. He has to still stay on his piece of cues. Keep it up. Keep it up. That's it. Nice work out there. Keep fighting smart and keep busy. Don't take a break on this guy. Yeah. You need to cover up more, okay? You're leaving yourself. They start up again. Back to action here with another round. But who knows how much longer it'll last. This has been a completely one-sided fight. Defense just covering up down low. Jump on him, jump on him right now. A smart and resourceful uppercut by Muhammad Ali. Way through the ninth round. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. He scored well after being hit himself. Firing off the uppercuts. Great exchange. Move, move. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Muhammad Ali. Mamba's combination punching is working well here. Well, you can mark down another round for him there with his precise, accurate punching. What does his opponent have to do? He has to faint a little bit. Fainting is the kryptonite to timing. It throws it off. You know, you faint and you're going to throw something, you don't throw it. And then he makes a move, then you throw it. Fainting. That's the key. Stay away from him. Keep throwing that jab. Listen, I'm not going to stand here and watch you take those shots. You understand me? Back to action now. We're underway in what has been a completely one-sided fight. You get the sense this one may not go the distance. Able to get rid of that one. to 
cover up along the belt line blocks that one. Effective with that one, two. right hand to the head targeting that one two black mamba's doing a really nice job here i mean putting his punches together this is what you're supposed to look like as an offensive fighter yes it is especially when you have a guy in front of you putting the earmuffs on you know you cover up the way that his opponent is you're supposed to put them together one or two are going to be blocked but when you put them together like that they're going to get through how about a return to center with the left hand combination there is going to impress the judges. Listen, I don't want to see who gets the rope. No, oh, no, my character's getting tired. Don't get careless, okay? At least, don't uh, fight his fight. 49%. Oh, I'm sure you've given a fighter much advice like this through the years, but when you're in round 11 like this and you have such a big lead on the scorecards, what do you say? Don't blow it, you know. <laughs> don't go out there and stop punching, then the guy's going to walk right in. But keep doing what you're doing, but a little extra emphasis on defense. Don't give him what he wants. Don't give him a mistake. on he's got his hands tight against his body but teddy still some things are getting through yeah i mean it's kind of like driving a car joe you know and the, the weather's a little bad and you say i want to be safe here i'm going to stop the car you don't stop and park the car in the middle of the highway where cars are coming i mean he stopped right there in the middle of the highway cars are coming you know pull off somewhere you know get the heck out of there find the right parking spot Mamba's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Able to land the hook to the head. And yet another right hand land. Opponent got away from that uppercut. Last 10 seconds of this 11th round. Black Mamba's corner is like a party over there. Everybody's slapping each other on the back and having a good time. They're positive now, but they still got to be careful. Yes, they're up on the scorecards, but still some fight left here. Keep this fight in the center of the ring, okay? The fight in this rhythm, okay? Don't fight this fight. There's no need to fight this style. You're not going to win that way. And this is the 12th and final round. Muhammad Ali's got a little something coming back at him. A counterpunch score. Black Mamba's jab continues to carry the day. He's wanted it. He's got it. Unable to score with the uppercut that time. Comes 
right back at him with a left hand. Double jab by Black Mamba. Halfway through this 12th and final round. Not much action as he just ties up. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Muhammad Ali. Blocking a score. Black Mamba's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. of the fight That's okay. That's really a lot of consistency from him with the right hand the unexpected <laughs> final bell as we will now await to hear the judges scores we, we, we talked the styles of these two guys they would go after each other early but sometimes too much respect for each other and that's what it turned out Mamba. Now celebrating a win and of course enjoying still holding on.